Excessive sweating is called hyperhidrosis. Sweating has thermoregulatory function, it means, when body's temperature is higher than its optimal level, body secretes water-rich fluid called sweat. Evaporation of sweat has cooling effect. Human can release up to 2 to 4 liters of sweat per hour and 10 to 14 liters per day. Sweat is not pure water, it contains minerals, sodium, magnesium, potassium, calcium, lactic acid, and urea. Sweat also contains many other trace elements such as zinc, copper, iron, chromium, nickel, and lead. Though, the concentration of these elements are low. Hyperhidrosis can be primary or secondary. Primary occurs since puberty and characterized excessive sweating most commonly on axillae, hands, feet, and face. Such hyperhidrosis is called focal, because sweating area is localized by specific areas such as axillae, hands, and feet. Primary focal hyperhidrosis develops idiopathically in otherwise healthy persons. The onset is mostly in puberty. Altogether, some 3% of the population suffer from hyperhidrosis, 51% of these from focal axillary hyperhidrosis. Sweating can be generalized, it is less common type of primary hyperhidrosis. Sweating can be thermoregulatory and emotional. When hyperhidrosis is localized it is most commonly emotional. Emotional means sweating is associated with emotional state. Generalized hyperhidrosis affects whole body and underlying causes can be infections, endocrine disturbances, and changes like hypothyroidism, hyperpituitarism, diabetes, menopause, and pregnancy, pheochromocytoma, carcinoid syndrome, acromegaly, and neurological disorders, e.g., Parkinsonism, malignancies, myeloproliferative syndromes, Hodgkin's disease medication, e.g., antidepressants, intoxication, withdrawal of alcohol or other substances, secondary focal hyperhidrosis rare and it is the result of central or peripheral neuronal defects. Peripheral causes are neuropathies e.g., diabetic neuropathy. Treatment. Several methods of treatment exist. Aluminum chloride 15% to 25% or antiperspirants. Tap water iontophoresis for palmar plantar sweating. Glycopyrrolate for gustatory sweating. Injections of botulinum toxin. Surgical. Endoscopic thoracic sympathectomy in sweating disorders of the upper quadrant. Axillary curettage, liposuction for axillary hyperhidrosis. Systemic. Anticholinergic drugs, e.g., methanthalinium bromide. Tricyclic antidepressants, e.g., amitriptyline. Beta blockers. Calcium channel blockers, e.g., diltiazem.